All right, I'm here at uh, Don Robinson State Park. This is the uh, beginning of the trails uh, that we can go hiking on through the woods. But before I do that, I was gonna tell a quick story about uh, the time that Kinjo and I and then his sister Yuki encountered some uh, a kind of a coyote that was messing with some dogs. So uh, it was early in the morning. I was getting ready for work, and then uh, and we, during this time, I should set the stage that there had been a lot of coyote settings in our in our area in our neighborhood. Uh, we back up to a large common ground, so the uh, the neighborhood backs up to this large common ground that's probably about. I don't know, 1,500 feet long, and maybe the depth is about 500 feet, and it backs up to some woods and a creek. And <clears throat> there had been a lot of coyote sightings, you know, uh, going through there. You could hear them sometimes at night, yipping and yapping and, and doing whatever. They even brought down a deer one time. We found a deer carcass out there. Uh, so the, the coyotes are out there. And also, you know, I, some people I know who live in a neighborhood nearby had had stated that, um, that there's coyotes in their neighborhood, and that they heard them one night get a hold of a, a small dog, and they said that the uh, the sounds of a coyote or coyote pack ripping apart a small dog is the stuff of nightmares. So I already had this in my mind uh, beforehand. Now I'm not too worried about that happening to my dogs because well they're Akitas and uh, they're not uh, they're not small dogs. They're not t uh, timid dogs. They're actually pretty pretty dominant, pretty powerful. Um, Kenjo's 115 pounds. He probably weighs as much as three of the biggest coyotes around here. So uh, if Coyote tried to mess with my dogs, they were have a very bad day. So the, but anyway, so this was going on. I already knew about the, the small dogs being taken in the area. I already knew about dog Coyotes being active in the common ground. And they've been spotted approaching a, a chicken pen nearby from a neighbor's house and so on. Well, one morning on the neighborhood uh, Facebook chat, there was, there, there was a person in a neighbor who announced that uh, there's coyotes out that morning. And this was probably like 8 a.m. <clears throat> And it was in, uh, I think it was in January. And so I looked out back and I didn't see any, but then I saw one of the neighbors, old uh, golden retriever walking 500 feet away at the edge of that forest line. And it was just, it was walking and it never gets that far from his, from his owner's house. I, I thought it was pretty strange that he was out there walking that far away and he was walking away from their house too. And he seemed like he was interested in something. And so I was like, is that dog being like lured away or is it following the coyotes or something? I don't know. Uh, so I was actually barefoot at the time. And like I said, it was, it was, it was January, so it was cold. Uh, so I just, maybe I should have done this, but I just immediately let my dogs out. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> you know, I was like, if, if they're out there messing with this golden retriever, I want them to be chased off. Uh, so I, I let my dogs out. Then I went and grabbed some shoes and then I ran out there after them. And now there's snow in the ground too. <clears throat> I should have said it this time. So once I get, once I got some uh, appropriate attire on, which was very quickly got it on, I ran out there after my dogs. They were just, my dogs were actually just wandering alongside the row of houses. They actually weren't going towards where the uh, golden retriever was. And by the time I got out there, the golden retriever is probably another 400 feet further down the forest line than it was when I first saw it. Uh, but when I ran out there to, to uh, kind of round up my dogs, that's when actually when I saw the golden retriever nose to nose with a large coyote. Now I say large coyote, but coyotes aren't that large. It was tall. It was probably as tall as the golden retriever, and it looked big with its big furry coat. But that's deceptive. If you actually shaved a coyote, they're going to have they're going to be like skin and bones. <clears throat> they're not. They don't weigh that much. I would say the thing probably weighed 40 pounds, uh, somewhere around there, give or take. But uh, so I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, my immediate thought was that golden retriever's in danger. Uh, I could have been wrong. I, again, I'm not a conservationist, I, but the, just my mind, I'm like, okay, I know the coyotes are taking small dogs. Here is this golden retriever. Knows that this old golden retriever. He's probably 10 plus years old. Um, white face and all, and, and uh, here it was nose to nose with this coyote, probably about 200 feet away from me. <clears throat> so that's when I yelled to my dogs. I said, "Go get it!" and and they. That's when they also noticed, and they started running towards the coyote and the golden retriever, and I was right behind them. And uh, and Kenjo, which is the one that's with me today, or is the one that's usually with me, he uh, he got there first before any of us, and. As soon as that coyote saw my dogs coming, it, it bolted. It was gone. I didn't see a second coyote, but I just saw that one. But as soon as it saw the Akitas charging at it, it was it was gone in a flash. And my dogs didn't even seem like they were interested in following it. They they Once it ran off, uh, and it, it probably ran off when they were still probably a good 80 feet away from it. Um, so when I, my dogs got there, they actually they were more interested in that golden retriever than they were the coyote. Uh, so the coyote was gone. Uh, I grabbed a hold of my dogs, shooed the, uh, the golden retriever back towards its house. And I was holding on to my dogs. I didn't even have a leash. So I was holding on to their collars. And I looked down this path that 
direction where the coyote went and I saw the coyote stop and look back at us from probably at this point a good 300 feet away. Um, and then, then it just tried, after it, like we were kind of eyeballing each other, uh, my dogs and me towards the coyote and the coyote back. Uh, and then it just turned and, and went off into the woods and that was it. So wasn't uh wasn't like an incredible story or anything like that. It was just a story about uh, coyotes, how there's a pack of them in, in, that travel through our area. We back up to this common ground. There's deer and everything that go back through there, foxes. Um, and then in our area, the coyotes are pretty active. Uh, it's a suburban area that backs up to a, um, uh, it backs up to a uh, uh, several, the area backs up to several like conservation areas. So it's, there's a lot of animals. And so <clears throat> just uh, heard the stories about the coyotes taking small dogs and, um, and then just hearing about, or hearing that and then seeing the, the golden retriever out there made me worry about the, the, uh, the coyotes taking that dog. Uh, but my dogs chased it off and that was pretty much the end of the story. So that's it.